Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to teach algebra equations using geometry. Now, as you know, with geometry, there's a lot of algebra equations associated with it, so let's talk about the different shapes and the algebra equations associated with them. Now, the most common shape that is often used in al algebra is that of the rectangle. Now, a rectangle has a couple of very popular formulas. The perimeter, which is 2L plus 2W, that means twice the length plus twice the width. The area of a rectangle, is length times width. So when it comes to the algebra equations involving rectangles, these are the two that are most often used. Now, another popular shape is that of a triangle. Now, the perimeter of a triangle is pretty straightforward because you're just adding all the sides. But the one formula that's used oftentimes is 1 half times base times height. Now, a special kind of triangle that you may have is that of a right triangle. And the right triangle uses the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. A and b are your legs, c is the hypotenuse. And last but not least, you have that of a circle, for which a circle is a little bit different because a circle is different from, of course, a rectangle and a triangle and a square. And everything revolves around the center. And the circles have two formulas that are often used. Area is equal to pi r squared, r is the radius the distance from the center to a point on the circle, and that at the circumference, which is 2 pi r. 2 times pi, a number close to 3.14, and then times the radius. So basically, if you understand the equations using these, you should be able to use the algebra to figure out how to solve them from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to solve algebraic equations using geometry.